guys, this is your girl Mizuki and I am the creator and toy designer of these characters behind here. So just in case you guys don't know, you guys are my new subscribers and my old subscribers. I am the creator and toy designer of this character. Now I did post a video of what is Azuki. So make sure you guys head down there and click on the video and know a little bit about my character and me. And also today we are going to be reviewing what is in my travel bag. So this is the updated version of what I have in my travel bag. But let's continue with this video. So the first thing I'm going to be reviewing in my travel bag and what I have in my travel bag is my pencils. So I actually keep them in a nice little package like this so the uh, graphite doesn't get all over my travel kit. Obviously if you see the video, my little video that I'm going to be putting up, it's already dirty but I'm planning on getting a new travel kit. So what I have here are four lead pencils. I'm going to start off with the uh, this pencil right here, my pencils. So I have about four pencils, lead pencils, that are my favorite. So this one, obviously the uh, name rubbed off. I'm not sure what the name brand is, but I'm going to show you here. So this is the darkest, and it goes to light. And this is a .5 reason why I like this is because you can click it, you can put it away. That's a cool thing about it. The next one, the next one is by Graph Gear. Right here. And this is a 0 0.9. It's very thick lead compared to the other one. This is 0 0.9. And the next the next one is was from Art Snacks. I got this from Art Snacks. As you can see, it has a label. And it is an HB size. That's pretty cool. It's a 0.5 lead. And then the next one, I'm gonna go get into color right now. And this one. Um, you can put any lead inside, but this is a 0.5 as well. And uh, the cool thing about this is you can change the different type of lead here. See, this is 2H, 3H, and so on and so forth H. But right now, what I have in this what I have in this lead pencil is red lead. And this is a uh, 0.5 graphite pencils by Creta Color. So I have a double of HB, but I'm going to show you guys. So this is also what I have in my travel bag. Uh, so let's get to that. So the first one, the first one is we're going to do is HB. The cool thing about these uh, is that you don't really need to sharpen them as often because the whole thing is created out of uh, the lead the graphite so this you can see look how light it is compared to the other lead pencils so this one's the HB the next one I'm gonna be trying out is a two so you'll see the difference between you see how darker it is from the HB so this is a 2B it's pretty cool and then I have a 8B. Now this is this is going to be smoother, like creamier kind of texture when you combine it with the paper. And yeah, so let me show you what 8B is. It goes on so much smoother. 8B. Now I'm going to go into the different color pencils that I have in my in my travel kit. So I'm, I usually intend to go with a brown, a red, and a blue. So let me start with the blue. So I have this cool Prismacolor double-sided pencil, which is a red and a blue side. So we're going to test out the blue side first, right here. And these are mostly, uh, the red and the blue are mostly for 
a sketching, like light hand sketching, so it will be in the background. Some of the ones that I have do erase. This one does not erase. So you want to be very, very light handed. So it will be like a background drawing. The next blue one I have is from Paper Glass Plastic Metal. And it's another blue. This is a much darker blue. Now let's head over to the reds. So I had the lead pencil up here, so I'm going to do the Prisma color up here. And as you can see, it's a different red. And the next red I'm going to do is from, same thing, paper glass plastic metal. And let's go see what kind of red this is. So this one comes out very smooth, like like the 8B. And as you can see, it's it's much of an orange tone. And then the next red I have in my travel kit is by no other than a Prismacolor. Should be the same red as this one, but I think it's more of a lighter tone. So let's put that into the test. And yeah, actually these are all different color. Now I have two other colors, which is a brown tone. So the, they're both from... Uh, Derwent, Derwent drawing of like a red tone and yeah, so let me go with this one first I think this one is sanguine sanguine it's a nice color brown and then the other one is a vanadine red which is more of a brown so those are these two right here one more this is from Faber Castell uh, this one is in 6B, so let's put it next to our pencils here. So let's do this one. And this is a 6B, so it's definitely up there with the 8B, just a little bit lighter than that one. Pieces that I have, so I have my red right here, my red lead pencils for any lead pencil that goes to a 0 0.5, and then the point, uh, other point 0.7 here, so I'm probably going to just pour this one in so it doesn't get any more space here. The next thing I'm going to be reviewing is my ruler. I got this from Art Snacks. It's a cool little, and it's really heavy. It's a cool little ruler here that I like to keep in for travel. The next one I'm going to be talking about is my sharpeners. I have these two, and I received them from Blick. They have uh, two different sizes here and here. So just in case I lose this one, I have this one. Or if I lose this one, I have this one. This is my kneaded eraser. I have a whole bunch of them. They only cut, they're really cheap. They're like 80 something cents. So like basically a dollar. And then I have this cool eraser, like a triangle shape. And uh, obviously the name is gone, so I can't tell you what name it is. The next one I wanted to show you is my white markers. So this is what I do when I do highlights. I'm going to show you the swatches right here. I can't show you on white paper, so I'm going to show you on my hand. So I'm going to put my hand here, okay? And the first one I'm going to be showing you is Windsor & Newton, <laughs> and this is called a white blender. So it has two tips. It has a thin, fine tip, and it has a chisel tip. So let's test out the chisel tip. Let me go like this better. So it's like this. That's the first swatch. The next one here is the same one, but this is the fine tip. Here you go. Now these, this is a blender, so this blends, say if you have a color pencil and you want to blend this, it'll make it lighter, the color pencil. It'll definitely make it blend it with white and the color, so it'll make it a lighter shade. The next one, it, this one is from the Re collections it's a white and it has a really thick tip tip right here that's what the tip looks like as you can see and this one next one I have is a gel the regular gel marker looking thing jelly roll I use this to do like my fine details my favorite that I haven't reviewed yet I got this from wish which will, I will be reviewing individually, but this one comes in several uh, colors. Uh, it's called Metallic Pen, even though it's not, this is not the metallic, but the other ones are metallic. But look how awesome this one just 
That's what I'm gonna amazing. be talking about is my Copic multi liners. I don't have the full collection. I think I'm missing like four of them, but I would have to highly, highly recommend these because they do not uh, bleed through the paper on the other side. Even if you use watercolor on top of them, they do not smudge. They're really good, I would have to say. So I got, these are the ones that I have so far. I'm missing a couple of them. And this is what they look like. So I have these definitely to bring along when I travel. These are a lifesaver and they do not bleed. Like say if you mix it with mixed media, watercolor, they do not uh, bleed at all. So I'm gonna give you swatches. Next one I have right here that's in my travel kit, it's uh, by a company that I do not know. It's actually, I bought it from Wish. I will be reviewing and see if it does smudge and things like that. But so far I've been carrying this with me since I've received them. I haven't reviewed them so I will be posting a video on them individually. Um, here it is, these guys right here. And the last thing I wanted to talk about was my randoms. So my randoms are basically different pens, like one out of whatever collection I have that I received. So most of them I got these from Art Snacks because they only give me one. So I call them my, just my randoms. So the first random um, I would like to share with you guys is my Molotone. I have a lot of Molotones and I would definitely highly recommend these guys. These guys are so pigmented and so just so good that I definitely highly recommend this guy. The other two are my silvers. All these I'm going to show you swatches of obviously and here you go guys. Uh, I have several silvers in my collection and so far I like these. These are uh, one is from uh, Recollections and the other ones from Fabro Castell. And then the other one that I like is my editing Darby right here. It's really tiny. You can put it anywhere. So this is what I really use when I don't bring my travel bag with me. I actually keep my travel bag in my hotel room or basically wherever my belongings and I usually take this one marker with me. The next one are just um are just other actually you know what? I actually found a name. So this one's from Pencel Sign Pen and this is made in Japan and this is a size 3E. So I didn't even see that. So when I see the swatches, I did I mentioned that I do not know the 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 name of it, but it's actually really here. I don't think you guys can see it. There you go. The next one is this is another random that I like here. The next one is like a gel pen. Definitely have to have that in my collection. A calligraphy pen. In my collection here not a pen a marker and then the last one like I said in my video I don't know the name of it but this is highly recommend this is ink in here I would have to take it apart and add a little ink
The next thing I wanted to film is how do I pack up my travel bag here. So this is my travel bag. As you can see, it's dirty as hell. <laughs> I definitely need to get a new one, but I'm just going to show you. So uh, I have all my supplies here. Um, I have them actually wrapped up in rubber bands in their collection. So the first one is my Copic. Uh, my regular Copic, so I actually put it in. All of them are away like this. So if I wanted to get a certain uh, collection of marker, I actually can get the whole thing because they're rubber bands. And then for my pencils, I actually have them in a small little bubble wrap because I noticed the reason why my bag is dirty is because the uh, lead in the pencil, they actually color inside. So I always empty it out and I clean it, but it's still dirty there and then I have my three cool editing markers here that I put on the side you know and then I have um, um, obviously I'm not going to review it but this is my ruler here small really heavy actually and not really good to keep it in here but uh, when I go away I definitely want to have a ruler with me and I have my sharpeners I have a sharpener with two ends two different type of ends here so because I do have a different size pencils and then I have my other just a regular one just in case I lose this one and then I have my two erasers I have a kneaded eraser and then I have this cool uh, I don't know what the name is anymore because it rubbed off eraser here it's very thin that is it guys this is uh my travel kit I hope you guys like this so I hope you guys like this video. It's something part two from, I know I, in my previous videos, I did uh, upload a video on my travel bag, but this is the updated one. I know I did use, I still have some of the same products that I had in my previous a travel bag, but this is why I did a part two because I added new markers in there. And as you can see, they are amazing. I hope you guys like this video. Like and subscribe and comment down below. And yeah, so welcome to my new subscribers, by the way. So don't forget to follow me on my social media and subscribe. This is your girl Mizuki and I'm out.